Dear Diary, As my adoptive parents told me last night, welcome to my new life. But in all honesty, it is a new life. Ever since I woke up in a hospital without even knowing who I was, it's been a roller coaster. Even worse when I was sent to an orphanage because no one had any record of me. But I'm starting a new life with Kate, John, and their other adoptive daughter, Chloe. I've got to hurry up breakfast before they leave for school. I think you're more nervous than they are. Agreed. You don't want anything to eat, Heather? Coffee's good enough. There's food, Chloe. Come eat. I'm good. She's still getting used to being here, Kate. I know. Oh look, it's the last puppy. That's Melina, not the nicest person around. Well noted. I'm Miss Bella, but don't call me that. Call me Bella. Chloe. Sit with me at lunch. You lost? Isn't that obvious? <laughs> kind of. So, what class do you have first? History? That's my first class, too. Perfect! I'm so extremely sorry. I was the one who wasn't paying attention. We both weren't, then. Have you seen Bella? Yeah, she was talking to one of the new girls. The blonde or brunette one? I didn't pay attention. The home state of Virginia joined Confederacy in 1861. It created a tremendous amount of tension within the state. People in Virginia's northwest region had different ideas from those of the traditional North South. So you must be one of the new girls in town. Am I already being classified like that? Well, it's a small town and not a lot of people move here. Don't worry about it. I'm used to it. 
Chloe. I'm Kyle. That new girl just looks like a lost puppy. Not long ago, I was the lost puppy, Melanie. But eventually, we became friends, okay? And plus, she acts like a freak. She's not that bad. Yeah, she does. Shit! What? It's Luke. What, he can't come to dinner anymore? We just broke up, and I don't want him to see me like this. You mean he broke up with you? Shut up, Hannah. Kyle, get me a root beer. Coming right up. You can go to the booth and I'll be right over. Okay. You must be one of the new girls next door. You know Kate and John? Not really. Not only moved in a couple weeks ago. So you don't call your parents mom and dad, I'm guessing. Um, yeah. Never have. Luke. Chloe. She has no problem with secrets. She knows how to keep them. She never felt the need to let them show. I've had no trouble with speaking or trusting my instincts. Then maybe this is one that I should know. But as I'm waiting there, the devil on my shoulder stares, laughing at the one thing I can't get is what I need. My mouth likes to spite me. It never says the words that come to Are you okay? Where did you come from? Well, I'm originally from Portland. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I know. So are you visiting family here? Yeah, of course. What else would I be doing here? Well, you are new in town. I didn't think you had any relatives here. Well, um, my distant... Uncle lived here and died. I'm visiting an uncle too. David. I'm Heather. Oh look, it's the lost puppy again. I have a name and it sure isn't lost puppy. Yeah, your name is like Clover. Chloe. And I've heard enough humiliation from you for a day. How was your first day? I guess it was fine. Not like I remembered what a first day of school feels like. Meet any friends? A couple. That's good. So where's Chloe? She didn't come home with you? I'm not really sure. I haven't seen her the whole day. I'm sure she's fine, Kate. Wait up, Chloe. I'm sorry, Bella. I just can't stand some people around here. No one around here can stand Melina. No wonder why Luke broke up with her. Luke is her ex? You know Luke? I just met him, and apparently he's my neighbor. No wonder Melina has been a brat to you. I could care less. There's going to be a party tonight. I'm sure it'll be a distraction from being the new girl. I just don't want to go home tonight. Perfect. Please tell me you're not staying home tonight, Ryan. What if I am? How the heck are you supposed to get a girl that way? Huh, you've hooked up with about every girl in this town while still dating Melanie, might I add, and I don't want your leftovers. I'm sure you'll meet someone at the party. I don't think so, Luke. If you don't meet a girl tonight, I'll owe you a cradle of beer. Come on, it's a whole cradle of beer. Fine. Meet you at the party. I think I'm gonna call the police. I'll go around town and look for her, okay? 
I'll get it. David. Sorry to show up at your doorstep all of a sudden without a warning. Don't worry about it. I like surprises. Good. <gasps> I found this journal exactly where you fell, and I'm guessing it's yours? It is! Thank you so much. I was just about to leave for some party Sasha told me about. Are you going? Great. Um, let me just grab my jacket. I'm going to a party. Go ahead and have fun, Heather. Okay. Now what? Now I just gotta find the right girl for you. Whatever, I'm just gonna get a drink. Melina! Luke! Fancy meeting you here. Not so much. Have you seen that Chloe chick? Are you serious? What? You're such an ass, Luke. Heather! I thought you weren't gonna come. I had a change of heart. I see your change of heart. Shut up! Chloe, right? Yeah? I need a favor. And why would I do a favor for you? Because I know you, your parents are crazy looking for you and I could cover for you. Um, no thanks. Fine. Do it because you won't regret it. What do you want? Hey, Miss Red Carpet. She can autograph my pockets. Anytime, place, anyway. I've been looking at everybody else watching. I don't want to be Noxious, but this girl works the gossip. Take it with a smile, a tattoo's now forever. She very godless. Is this the last cradle? Um, I think so. Damn. But I'm sure they're bringing in some more. <laughs> About time. I'm Chloe. Ryan, and you're one of the new girls? I guess you could say that. Aw, is Clover finally meeting a person just as a freak as her? Shut up, Melanie. Was I talking to you, Clover? Leave me alone! Haven't you noticed that I don't want you near me? You haven't heard the last of me. You okay? I'm fine. I just think I'm gonna go home. I'll see you in school then? Of course. So what's it like here around town? <laughs> That's good. I'll be right back. Chloe! What? Kate and John are crazy looking for you. And I care because? Because they're your parents now. Just shut up, Heather. Found her! Where have you been, Chloe? Around town. You almost gave John and I a heart attack. Why do you even care? Because I'm your mother now, and John is your father now. I have never had a real mother nor father in my life. My father left before I was born. My mother? Yeah, she's a crackhead. I have never had a mother or father, and I don't need one now. Chloe.